I'm Radley Horton. I'm a research scientist at the Center for Climate Systems Research here at Columbia University and the Earth Institute. So what's most exciting to me, I'd say, in terms of research these days is topics around extreme weather events. Um, everything from long duration heat waves to extreme cold air outbreaks. This has been a major um, research area in recent years. We're also learning more about the impacts of these types of extreme events on people, on ecosystems, and on infrastructure. For example, with heat waves, we can look at historical heat waves that, say, a city has experienced. We can look at climate models to see how often they say those heat waves might happen in the future. But a really emerging research area now is the idea of what we call tail risk. What the idea essentially of what if the climate models are wrong? Is there some possibility, some probability that changes may be more extreme than what we've thought in the past? Could heat waves change due to some process, for example, that climate models don't capture? Some feedback between soil moisture that leads to more heating, perhaps? Maybe some change in the jet stream or climate dynamics that climate models don't capture very well. What are the risks of some sort of surprises, if you will, in the climate system? That's what interests me these days. What I want people to understand is that a small shift in average conditions, a couple feet of sea level rise, can mean that extreme events happen much more frequently than they used to. The flooding event that used to happen once every 100 years, if you add two feet of sea level rise, that might be something you experience once every 10 or 20 years. It's the same with heat waves. If temperatures warm just a couple degrees, we could see much more frequent, much more long-lasting um, and more intense uh, heat waves. We need to minimize these changes. Even a small amount of warming and sea level rise means a big change in the frequency of extreme events, and our societies are extremely vulnerable to these extreme events. Going back towards uh, college, I had an experience where I did a semester abroad in Tanzania. Um, before that, I didn't have a strong sense of what I wanted to do. I went to Tanzania ready to learn a lot about the wildlife there um, and quickly learned that these are complex systems. You can't think about the wildlife without being aware of the vulnerable populations, interactions between those two. So I think that experience got me thinking about um, impact around the world. It wouldn't be fair to say that I knew climate change was going to be sort of the issue or one of the biggest issues. I think like a lot of people in the late 1990s, um, when we thought about climate, we thought about climate variability, things like El Nino first. Climate change was something we knew we had to worry about, but it's only become clearer in the last 10 or 20 years um, that the threat is really uh, right now. 